And this is what Tristan just finished building. It's, um, it's part of the monkey set, but he built the teddy bear. So we It's are... Thursday morning. Tristan and I are heading to the gym. We're going to do basketball today. Maria is off today, so I'm not sure what she's doing. Um, we'll see in terms of Lego. Yesterday I did a bunch of Lego, a bunch of Lego builds and mock builds. I think I did nine videos yesterday for Lego, which is good. Good workout today. We started off with basketball. 42% today, not bad. But somebody beat me in Around the World. The third time Tristan has beaten me in Around the World. And then afterwards we did some weights. We did legs and back now and core. And now we're heading home. Maria's off today, so I'm not bringing you to Wawa's house. Lucky. Mason is going to do some unbaggings of some Lego sets without Thank Tristan. You. Now we're going to do the thumbnail of this highway speeder set. Speed speed and set. now for the unboxing video. Yeah. Okay, we have unbagging number two. Okay, Mason, for the thumbnail, go to the spot. Okay, now for some unboxing. Okay, unbagging number three. Okay, thumbnail, go to the couch. Okay, now for the unboxing. Okay, the last one, the last unbagging video. Thumbnail. <coughs> okay, now the unboxing video. Here, Mason and I finished building the first build of this set, and it is a little puppy dog. Looks pretty cool. Pretty cute. So it is day off on this Thursday. I think I had to switch my day off sometime. It's not sequential anymore. However, I'm needed at work, but uh, we kind of missed the bus this morning. Kinda, kinda, I don't know. But it is raining, so it's better that I do bring the boys to school. And it most likely will be an indoor recess. It's a very packed, super busy day for me though, even if it's a day off. I have to take Hayden to the doctors for his uh, 18 month shot even if he's well past being 18 months. Tristan, how what you did this morning already? I uh, went to work. I went and played basketball. Like how? Oh, is your feet still hurting? I uh, my left foot hurts. And later on, I'm going to pick up some catered dishes for our potluck at work. Yes, even if I'm not at work, I still want to partake in our luncheon activities because it's lunch. Yes? Oh, good. Yeah, it doesn't work at What's home, What's the does name it? of it? Prodigy. Prodigy. And then later on, I have to pick you guys up early. I wrote a, a note in your uh, agendas. Tristan Mason? Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's because you guys have a dentist appointment later. So after I pick you up, I'm actually going to bring you home first. So you guys can have a snack. Mm -hmm. And then we have to brush our teeth. Silly. Hoping that the, hopefully the dentist won't find any cavities. I don't know. And then my day can be more relaxing and when we go to the gym after if it becomes more relaxing But that is my full full day seems like I have a lot of time for all these things, but I don't um, I finished reading the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. So that was uh, a good read. It's taken me I think it was published in 2009 and I've, I've had it since 2011. So a good four years to Get through it and now I am reading the art of tidying. It's a bestseller. It's an interesting concept it's essentially we have to throw everything away. That is the secret of living a nice, tidy life. Throw everything, and we just live in such a consumerist sort of, you know, a very consumerist society. Hello, our Lego is like the basis of our basement. Um, so yeah, it's uh, very insightful to hear what she's saying, and I think a lot of the challenge really is to part with things that we feel very big sentiments That's towards. That said, I am inspired to tidy. I was actually tidying some of our areas at home throwing things out that was clutter already um, while I was listening to it but actually her main point isn't to tidy one area she says she wants to tackle categories and the first category she encourages people to tackle are their clothes and I think I do that on an, an, a, a regular basis already but it's still not enough when you can see our closets full and brimming and again we just live in a very big consumerist society want 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 versus need really 
and then even if things get old and um, you know they should be removed from uh, clothing use we Mason, keep them for lounge wear okay we're at school Mason, take off. open the door until I'm completely at park and over there okay I'll just put it in our bags and I think for uh, me part of the main challenge really is just having the kids I feel like I can't really discard a lot of their toys if they're still in good order um, again it just I guess depends on where your life is at before you can actually embark on a big tidying kind of project I mean I feel like a lot of people have a very difficult time letting go but especially when I'm still in the growth mode with the kids I mean half of the time most of the time they have hand-me-downs number two and number three anyway and um, <clears throat> a lot of the times whenever things do get worn out I do get rid of them but still I, I, our house is just full of stuff not to mention that Nick and I are pure pure hoarders with what we love to collect and I mean we are already trying to streamline it to what we do like to collect but uh, it can get overblown so it's a very good read just to um, give more insight and just give more thought to really what we need and not need I think one of our main rules is keep what gives you pure joy so even upon touch or upon sight if something gives you pure joy definitely have that in your sight in your possession and anything else that doesn't give you pure joy throw out so words to live by unfortunately Nick and I know a lot of things that give us pure joy we're very joyful here's the second build of this set and it's a bunny rabbit a black and white bunny rabbit it's pretty cute So here's me and Hayden taking a morning stroll at Rockwood Mall. Check out Home Sense once more. If there's any luck finding more Richard Glasser nutcrackers, although I think everything that's going to be delivered is done. And then after this, we go to the doctor for his 18 month shots. He doesn't know what's coming to him, poor guy. Yeah, is that a polar bear? That's a nice bear. Go get a cart for you. No more nutcrackers. I think that's it. We came early enough in the season, so that's good. And here's the third build where we got a mouse, some cheese, and a little kitty cat. Well, it's kind of an ugly kitty cat. So here we are, we're going to the doctors for a surprise shot for Hayden. He doesn't know what's coming to him for baby. Waiting. Okay, stand on the way scale. And the way feels good. We're practicing timeout. Apparently, he doesn't move when he's standing on the wall. Stay there. Hey, are you being naughty? We shouldn't be doing stuff like this. So the needle that Hayden got was received with not much fuss uh, through the distraction of the iPhone. Yeah, so he's watching Elmo on my the YouTube and we gave him the needle and I think he was uncomfortable at the very end, but otherwise he ignored it well. So see, best distraction device ever. Now I'm on my way to pick up some pasta, Palma pasta for the potluck at work. And uh, I'm running a little bit behind, but people will still eat it. I'm very sure. So here I'm at work and I didn't get a text back from my girlfriend who said she was going to help me unload food. They must be all eating already. Hmm. So good thing I went to work today for our luncheon because I am the winner of the 50-50. I know, it seemed like it was rigged that I showed up and I won. I don't know. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I think uh, the total half pot is $150, so not bad. Nutcracker spending allowance. No, actually I couldn't find any nutcrackers today. so. 
And I think that's it for the season. I'm on my way now to pick up the boys from school for their dentist appointment. But before we go to the dentist, I want to feed them first and then brush their teeth. So it looks like we had been brushing their teeth all along. But those dentists are really good at finding whatever needs to be found, like cavities. Sad. So here we are right before the dentist and I'm getting my buy one get one free latte at Starbucks. It's uh, today through the 15th. So I'm trying the uh, praline, praline chestnut latte and the creme brulee, my all-time favorite for the holiday season. It's never a bad idea to get buy one, get one free. Oh no, they just dumped it. I just saw them dump it. So sad. And uh, the boys are asleep, so hopefully they wake up soon. Dentist. Yeah, let's go. So the boys are back from their dental visits and the good news is no cavity for both but continue to brush as regularly and frequently as possible and no eating yet for one hour. Um, that said, we just found out that our insurance company no longer covers every six month visits, which is not cool. They will now only cover nine month visits. I guess I should have read the new employees handbook and even all the fine prints. So I guess now we have to be more vigilant with cleaning and I guess this all relates to all the different budget cutbacks. Yay! What did you get there? I want you to put that in your jacket when we're inside the childcare, okay? No, okay. Oh. But not this pocket and your... I'll put it in my purse. I have a pocket. Put up in my purse so that you guys aren't going to be tempted to play with it and then you guys can be in trouble and then they're going to call me. I have a pocket here. And I'm going to take off my jacket. I guess we arrived here early enough that it's not very busy at the gym area. At uh, the kids area, I need there's a gym. I was going to go to Costco right after the dentist, but dragging three kids doesn't seem fun and the weather's blah blah blah. So, Maybe Nick, if you want to go to the Costco tomorrow, I'll give you a list. And this is what Tristan just finished building. It's, um, it's part of the monkey set, but he built the teddy bear. So we are going to build the other builds as well. I still have to do a little review on this little teddy bear, but looks pretty cool.